Hey everybody, Thomas Vanderkin here with the Vanderkinverse. Back again with the follow-up video of the Lenovo T14 Gen 2 with Ryzen 7. All right, Chad, want to introduce yourself? Hey everyone, my name's Chad Gray. I'm the sales lead for Lenovo North America here at AMD. Here with my good buddy and old colleague, Thomas. Yep. As he mentioned, we're testing the, the new T14 Gen 2 with our Zen 3 Ryzen 5000 series CPUs. This competes directly with the T14 Intel from Lenovo with Intel i7. Uh, and as you're going to see in these benchmark testing, we expect about a 20% bump in performance from the AMD Gen 1 T14. And uh, we're seeing much better uh, benchmarking and customer feedback uh, than on the Intel models. So, Really excited about this product and some of the innovations that AMD has been able to bring to Lenovo and their portfolio. Yeah. Well, let's start the test. It takes about a minute. So I'll hit go here on this start test. Okay. So while this runs, this is the Ryzen 7. So in, everybody's used to Intel i3, i5, i7. Is it similar from AMD? Yeah, so we wanted to make it really easy for customers. So we have the same level of stack. We have our Ryzen 3 Pro CPUs, our Ryzen 5 Pro CPUs, and our Ryzen 7 Pro CPUs. Those are available in most of the Gen 2 ThinkPads from Lenovo. The T14 that you see here. We also have a T14S. Uh, X13, L14, L15. So we have a broad range of products in the Lenovo portfolio that we've grown pretty rapidly over the last couple of years. And hopefully over the next couple of years, we'll continue to bring new products to the portfolio. Exciting. So this is the new uh, Gen 2 T14. It's got a bit of a carbon gray. So uh, it really kind of shocked me if you didn't see the first video where we did the unboxing and go back there and checked it out. But I kind of, uh, you know, when I've been selling ThinkPads for 25 years, it uh, doesn't take much to shock me. But it's subtly, definitely more gray. <laughs> definitely the top has got this kind of aluminum feel to it. Uh, looks good, feels good. I think that um, people appreciate having a choice. But I think we're done with our tests. So let's see, where do we end up? This one, Chad got a... 2,411 on the CPU score for a total score of 3,129. That's, for people who don't watch these videos very often, you go back, you'll see a year ago I was testing i5s, i7s, mm -hmm. they were getting 1,500, 1,700 scores. So for this one to get a 3,129. It's yeah. crazy. It's amazing. You know, it makes my job very easy as a sales guy when we're bringing these type of products to the market. So uh, they really are a performance leader. And uh, as Thomas mentioned, you know, the Intel comparables are scoring much lower on these type of tests. So when customers put these through their benchmarks and all the applications that they use and their imaging process, nine times out of 10, we're getting extremely strong feedback. And for Com Thomas's customer as well, they've chosen to standardize on this product. So. We're starting to see a lot of the large Fortune 500 companies uh, move over to AMD. Yeah. To be fair, I haven't done the Tiger Lake yet, so it might be interesting to see the Intel Gen 11. I yep. So we'll see what numbers we get. You know, we want to be fair here. But uh, this is my first test of the new uh, T14 Gen 2. This happened to be Chad brought it over to the yep. unboxing. It's crazy. It's really, really good. And you said about a 20% improvement in CPU. I went back, looked at the Gen 1 with the 5000 series, mm -hmm. uh, with the 4000 series, and it was right about 2000. So yep. we right on your 20% no, CPU improvement. We really put these things through the ringer before we launched them to the public. And, you know, our engineers have done a lot of testing, and consistently they've come back at that 20% mark. So. Uh, hopefully next year when we launch our 5 nan nanometers and 4 chips, we'll have another uh, around 20% bump in performance. So AMD continues to innovate and that's how we've been able to take so much share away from Intel so quickly. It's uh, really been an exciting couple of years and a good time to be at AMD. Wow, I love it. Thanks for bringing this over. No I guess you threw down the gauntlet. Um... I had to uh, pull some strings <laughs> with all of the uh, crazy market conditions right now, but uh, I yeah. wanted to get Thomas one of these first with uh, his massive LinkedIn following, and mm -hmm. hope you guys enjoyed the video. Super excited. Thanks, Chad. Thanks, everybody, for watching. We'll catch Thanks, you next everyone. time. Bye.